A new poll from Pew Research backs up an argument that we've been making on the show for a long time. Majorities say government does too little for older people, the poor, and the middle class. So, um, let me go ahead and show you uh, the specific numbers. So it says, government viewed as doing too little for older people, poor, middle class. How much help does the federal government provide to each group? So for older people, 65% say not enough. For poor people, 62% say the government uh, doesn't do enough. 61% say the government doesn't do enough for the middle class. Uh, then it kind of drops off a little bit. 51%, so a small majority, slim majority, says uh, the government doesn't do enough for younger people. And then, I love this next one because it really, <laughs> it really proves what we've known for the longest time here. Only 5% of Americans say the government doesn't do enough for wealthy people. <laughs> So that narrative, um, that narrative from Fox News of like the poor, oppressed, rich people hasn't really landed in uh, the country overall. 5% say the government doesn't do enough for wealthy people. 64%, uh, by the way, say the government does too much for wealthy people. And I like how 25% uh, say it's about right. <laughs> I just find that sentiment a little funny. Like, no, I would I would leave it exactly as is. The amount of help that the government gives to the rich people is exactly right. What? That's just a weird thing to believe. Um, so here are the numbers on that front. Now let's move on to the next set of numbers here. Republicans and Democrats differ on whether government provides too little help for poor, too much for wealthy. Okay, so let's break this down. They say, how much help does the federal government provide to each group? Now, on the left, you see um, Republican and lean Republican people. On the right, you see Democrat and lean Democrat people. Uh, so you see for the wealthy, 46% of Republicans say the government provides too much help to the wealthy. So that's a plurality of Republicans that say the, the government provides too much help to the wealthy. That's really interesting, isn't it? That even a plurality of Republicans say the government helps wealthy people too much. That's, in, that's actually a very encouraging fact because it shows that um, they, they could, to an extent, they're seeing through the propaganda about, oh my God, the poor oppressed rich people. Now, among uh, Democrats and, and lean Democratic people, 77% say the government does too much for the wealthy. Uh, yeah, I would argue that they're totally right. I mean, just look at the recent uh, Republican tax bill. 83% of the benefits of that tax bill goes to the top 1%. 83%. The idea that, like, what, we're not kind enough to the rich? I, I'm... That's hard to digest that anybody would believe that. Um, okay, next, middle class. So, 51% of Republicans say the government doesn't do enough to help the middle class. So, a slim majority of Republicans say the government doesn't do enough to help the middle class. By the way, only 7% say the government does too much among Republicans to help the middle class. Um, for Democrats, 70% of Democrats say the government doesn't do enough to help the middle class. 70%. Only 2% of Democrats say the government does too much to help the middle class. That's funny. I wonder who's in that 2%. Probably Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Joe Manchin is in that 2%. Hillary Clinton. Okay, but now here's, here's the main uh, area of disagreement. This is really interesting. So... 82% of Democrats say that the government doesn't help poor people enough. 82%. But among Republicans, 36% say the government uh, doesn't help 
poor people enough. So that's interesting because that's a gigantic majority for Democrats. But for Republicans, it's a plurality, but it's a small number. Only 36% of Republicans say the government doesn't do enough to help the poor. So what's interesting is the, it doesn't matter how much propaganda you throw at the Republicans. There's still a large part of them that's like, no, obviously the government's not helping the middle class enough. And obviously the government is um, helping the rich too much. So like, even with the tremendous amount that they're propagandized, you have Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, every Fox News host. Every Republican politician in the country acts like rich people are oppressed and, you know, the middle class is just fine. But even with all that propaganda, you can't get them to budge on that. Like, they still say, no, middle class should get more help from the government. So, that shows that, uh, I think, that a lot of these Republicans are middle class and they feel like they're getting screwed. And so they're not going to budge on that position. But... You know what propaganda did work on Republicans is they got the majority of them to believe like, hey, poor people. Yeah, they don't need really need any more help from the government. Again, only 36 percent of Republicans say um, that the government doesn't give enough help to poor people. So the narrative of like the lazy, entitled poor person who's actually living on their high horse by taking food stamps to feed their kids, and, like, they're on welfare and they're barely getting by, Republicans look at that poor person and they think, like, oh, that's... they're oppressing me. The poor person is oppressing me. And they have their bullshit arguments of, like, well, they're taking my tax dollars and using it to feed their kid, goddammit. And, um... So, to me, it looks like the propaganda on that issue did take hold. Now, with the Democrats, it didn't. 82% of Democrats say the government doesn't do enough to help poor people. But Republicans really believe that, like, poor people are oppressing them. And this goes back to the oldest trick in the book. We talk about it all the time on this show. Which is elites and corporatists, so mega-rich people, they convince middle class people that poor people uh, are the problem in this country and the poor people are the reason why they're stuck in the middle class and they can't uh, excel further. So the oldest trick in the book by elites is to get middle class and poor people to fight amongst themselves and blame each other for their problems as the rich run out the back door with all the money. And that's what's happening. That's how the Republicans view it. So, the propaganda did not hold for the middle class and the rich. But the propaganda held against the poor uh, for Republicans. Republicans genuinely believe that poor people actually have it easy and have it good. That argument stuck with them. And unfortunately, that's a giant diversion, man. That's a giant diversion tactic from the rich to get you to not blame them. They're the ones with all the money. They're the ones with all the power. They're the ones who rig the government in their favor, rig the rules in their favor, rig the tax laws in their favor so they can hide all their money overseas at the Cayman Islands. And so they're screwing you, the rich are, but they convince Republicans, no, 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 you got to blame the poor people. That mother on welfare, she's the reason for all your problems. So blame people with no money and no power. Look, it's, uh, it's terrible, and it's factually wrong, but it's also brilliant politics, is what it is, and uh, it worked. So, the Democrats need to counter that narrative, and uh, people on the left need to point out what I'm pointing out right now, and hopefully convince people and ship away and let them know. The problem is the owner class. The problem isn't the people who are literally worse off than you.